me, Sean from Tech Dirt. I was a com, user comp system, Pete, and also my new channel, Smart House Tech. And basically, I'm just here to show you guys a quick um, overview of how to set up an Echo Dot. Um, my unboxing I just got done doing. Um, like I mentioned, I do have the bigger brother, the actual Amazon Echo, um, also in black. Um, and I actually have a little scrunchy thing, a little actually Amazon Dot. It says Amazon Dot on it, uh, a little play toy. Um, but anyways, uh, so this is my Amazon Echo Dot. Um, I'll show you how to set it up. So I'm going to connect the included power cable to the power adapter and we're going to plug it in. You can see it's, uh, or it's actually you can't see it, but it's a bit smaller than the one that came with the normal Echo. And now that this cable has power, I'm going to plug that into the port on the back. So you have a three and a half millimeter on the right, and then you also have a power port, a uh, USB port on the left side. So we're going to plug that in. You should get some light up or some kind of action there. There we go. Let's see what it lights up. Turn this little spinny thing. And one nice thing about the Echo products is basically if you have one um, closer than the other, they can all use their microphones to hear what you're saying. And then it'll only activate the product that's closest to you um, with its fear. Uh, I think it's called far field uh, mics or something like that. But basically it'll only connect um, the things that are closest to you. Uh, excuse me, play it off the device that's closest Hello. to you. So if you have this in a bathroom. Your bed, Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. In a bathroom. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. <laughs> in a bathroom versus, um, you know, one in a kitchen and you're in the bathroom, uh, it'll only activate the one in the bathroom for reading back. So I'm going to go into the app, go into settings, and set up a new device. So it gives you three options. You're either your Echo, your Tap, or your Dot. Um, we're going to click your Dot. Um, Echo Dot. Uh, we're gonna slide it up in English. Gonna connect it to Wi-Fi. Gonna continue because um, it is it is showing this orange ring. Um, basically, is what it was asking. Now it's attempting to connect to my dot. So if you guys can see up in the top, it just dropped the wireless connection. Now it reconnected to a wireless network. More than likely, it's the one. Um, actually, no, it connected back to my my uh, network. I was thinking it was connecting to the. Uh, Wi-Fi network being emitted from the dot. <clears throat> but you can see it's saying it's attempting to connect up to the dot. In a little bit, hopefully we'll have a, we'll have a connection here. Click this button real quick to remind me what to do. Okay, so it's an action button. It's a circular button, basically um, calls upon Alexa as opposed to you Sorry, having to press it. I don't... That's it. Okay, so it didn't work. So it's going to ask me to manually connect. Um, connect. I'm not to, quite sure how to help you with that. Um, my Echo, which I'm going to do. I'm going to manually connect to the Wi-Fi network. Perfect. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Finish the setup. It's going to bring up different Wi-Fi networks. I'm going to connect it to the one that's pre-existing, which it actually had highlighted um, in the setup screen. So now you can see it's saying it's repairing my Echo Dot. And hopefully in a little bit, we'll have, a, we'll have it completely set up and ready to start taking commands. And I'll actually mute my uh, echo, so that way um, you guys can hear some of the commands I'm going to put through my dot. Perfect. It's connected to Wi-Fi, my wireless network. Now it's updating, and it's going to restart, and we'll be all set. It says, how do you want to use it, actually, which is pretty cool. It's going to give me a few different options, so I can do either Bluetooth, um, like I mentioned, to a Bluetooth speaker, an audio cable, which basically is like um, connecting it with an auxiliary um, input through the back, or I can just use a standalone, which is what I'm planning on doing, so no speakers. So it's going to show me a quick video um, to get me through some of the basics of the Echo, and that should be good.
Right now, I'm assuming it's just a little a bit of stalling uh, while, it, while it processes now the update. It's easy to add Alexa to any room in your home. Play your music. Communicate with friends and family. And control your smart home. And actually, that's one cool thing that uh, Amazon actually just recently um, introduced is a calling between Echo products. So if your friend has an Amazon Echo, you have an Amazon Echo, you can make calls between the two. Um, very similar to like FaceTime or iMessage that you get on an Apple device. Um, so essentially, you know, a bunch of people, if they all start having Echoes in their house, you can make calls directly to someone else without having... Um, without having your actual echo um, or excuse me without having an actual house phone um and i believe the echo look if i'm not mistaken has some kind of video conferencing um that's going to be introducing um the echo look is basically their newest echo um it's like a normal echo but with a built-in screen uh, i believe it's a seven inch screen um and then it also has um the ability for you to talk um talk to it and then actually see what's going on because it does have that built-in screen um it's going to retail i want to say for 229 when it comes out right, let's see my echo and this app is installing everything and hopefully in a little bit we should be good Anyways, guys, this is me, Sean from TechDollars.com. He's the console of SMP, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the setup. And after this, we're pretty much there. You guys have a nice one. Subscribe to my channel. Leave in the comments if you have any questions. And I'll talk to you guys in a later one. Bye-bye.